Hi, Emily. Hi, Andy. Hey, Shira. I'm not sure how many people will be able to join today. I know that Jen um, was feeling sick, so I'm not sure if she's able to come. And then um, Jeff also had a funeral. So. Um, Have you heard from um, Ben? Haven't heard from Ben. Okay. I'll share this with you so that you can start looking at it. I'm not sure if you've seen it already, but it's um Jen put together the intro for the um Yeah, I did see that and I have that pulled up. So Yeah, it looks like the only other people would be John and Ben, so I'll reach out to them quickly. Okay. Do you know if we're going to have a quorum for the larger EAG? Um, that That's the big question. Um, okay, so TBD. <laughs> TBD. Uh, it, it looks like we should. I know Jeff is sending a representative so that gets us kind of like right at um right at quorum. Okay. But uh, yeah, so as long as nobody else drops out, <laughs> then we'll be at quorum. Got it. Oh, and Chris said that he was able to come. Originally he wasn't going to be able to, so okay. Okay, so we have John, we have Um, can you fill me in a little bit on how last, the last meeting went? Yeah, for sure. Um, it was good. We, let me just pull up my notes. Um, so we began drafting that like, avenues to engage with the clean heat standard one pager um, and identified gaps in both distribution pathways and like existing resources. Um, and that's included in those notes that I distributed. Um, and then we kind of agreed for next steps for the one pager um, that this opening paragraph was just like a beginner start to what the clean heat standard is before we go into a diagram of the different avenues and pathways for folks to engage with the clean heat standard. And um, we were going to start talking, just like identifying those pathways, which are only a couple that exist. And so I think the group was like naturally leaning towards um, sending a memo to the to the PUC at some point um, that we can share with the EAG 
um, to just, I think, acknowledge the gaps for public engagement within the clean heat standard while also ha like creating this diagram that shows the existing pathways. Um, so I think that's where we're at talking about those next pathways and um, talking about what gaps exist with those acknowledged pathways. Sounds good. Um, that's great. I'm thinking, so I'm looking over um, Jen's one pager. I'm thinking maybe the best use of the time right now might be to um, kind of make any edits that we can to the one pager. Um, and that's kind of that's kind of putting it on you right now, Emily. So let me know if that's something that you're you're interested in doing, or if that's something that you want to. You can also t just take that offline since it's yeah. Something <laughs> that would be my recommendation. I work <laughs> better, I think, not in the moment. Um, and there's a couple info requests out for the clean heat standard right now, so um, I could definitely use the time back if definitely um, it me next time. It looks like we're, yeah, I, I would lean that way. The one thing that I would just want to um, highlight is Jen's paragraph does a really great job of just like, you know, giving the scope. I I would, if, if you're able to do this or if you have an eye for this, just make it a little bit more plain language and like keep the, sure. the audience in mind. Um, so yeah, if there's anything that you want to do around that, I think that would be helpful. Yeah, I agree with you. And I think, um, yeah, I think like, I can already see like bio-based fuel and heat pumps yeah. and um, <laughs> all of that can be, um, I think just simplified big time, but I think this looks great, but I'll definitely focus on that. That's kind of where my mind was going as well. Awesome. All right. Well, let's give it two more minutes just to see, because I, yeah, I sent out an email to John and Ben. Um, but if nobody jumps on by 1110, then we can just hop off. Um, also, Andy, if you have, I, I this can be our informal public com comment time, if you have anything I'm going to take that as a no. So yeah, let's just give it one more minute and then we'll hop off. Okay. I see your message. No comments from Andy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It just seems like a very busy, busy week for most people. Yeah. Yep. Lots going on in the clean heat standard and out of the clean heat standard. <laughs> yeah. What conference were you at, Shira, if you don't mind me asking? I'm not at a conference. Oh. oh, okay. Okay, so um, before when I missed the, um, I was at my my company's retreat. So we have- Oh, got it, okay. Yeah, we have nice. like a bi bi biannual retreat and I was actually running it. So it was just like- nice. <laughs> <laughs> very low key <laughs> yeah <laughs> wasn't nice. wasn't that relaxing but it was yeah. really nice we had a good time it was a great location so mm, that's yeah. Great. yeah love that person right. time all right well thank you Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> all right bye Emily see you soon <laughs>